What is it that I really love about the book of Psalms? Can you guess? Well, you probably can't guess, but that's what we're going to talk about today. My name is Tom Pounder. I'm the online campus pastor here at New Life Christian Church. And in the Bible in the year, which is what we're doing at New Life, we're reading the Bible every single day in a year, and we have tons of plans that you can be a part of if you're not currently reading. You can just jump in with us wherever we're at and just start reading the Bible because it's not about reading the Bible in a year. It's about reading the Bible every single day and being instructed by God's truth and God's wisdom each and every day. So I want to encourage you to read it. Uh, there are plans at newlife.church slash Bible 2022, but there's also other plans at newlife.church slash Bible. We've got tons of different plans there that you can be a part of. And again, it's the key is about reading the Bible every single day and being instructed and being guided by God through his wisdom. But like I said, there's something I love about reading through the book of Psalms. And right now we're on Psalm chapter 8 in reading the Bible in a year. And I'm just really inspired by what David has to say. So I'm going to read a little bit about it and then we're going to talk about it. So Psalm chapter 8 is a really short chapter, but it starts off like this. Lord, O Lord, how majestic is your name throughout the earth. You have covered the heavens with your majesty. That's the first verse. Talk about, Lord, O Lord, how majestic is your name. Now, if you grew up in a traditional church like I did, <clears throat> my family went to Lutheran churches and to Episcopal churches growing up. Th this is a song. There is a song, and I can actually, as I'm reading verse 1, it's just how I can hear you know, the old gospel singer, Sandy Patty. She's from the 80s. I know I'm, I'm really dating myself here, but <clears throat> my mom and my dad loved Sandy Patty growing up. And she's saying, O oh Lord, O oh Lord, how majestic is your name above the earth. And um, it just this passage right here it reminds me of that song. And it's a hymn that we sang throughout uh, my upbringing. But also I remember Sandy Patty specifically singing it. But it is. It's David is saying, O oh Lord, O oh Lord, how majestic is your name. He's giving praises and honor to God. It's like your name throughout the earth. He's praising God. And so here's the thing. The one thing I love about what <clears throat> Psalm is about and what David does and some of the other writers do as well is that he just continues to offer praise to God. He praises God for who he is. And it goes on a little bit further. He said, um, what is man, what is human being that you remember him, a son of man that you look after him? You made him a little less than God and crowned him with glory and honor. You made him ruler of over the works of your hands and put everything under his feet. Again, giving praises and honor and respect to God. And then he concludes it by verse 9. Lord, O oh Lord, how majestic is your name throughout the earth. I love that he started it with praise, ended it with praise. And again, one of the things I just love about the book of Psalms is that God, David and the other writers give praises and honor to God. And so here's how it relates to us. How often do we give praise and honor to God? Now, I think that might be maybe catch you a little bit of back, but it, I mean, it actually caught me aback, and that's why I'm doing this devotional because I was reflecting on my life, and I'm like, do I give God honor and praise? Do I honor and praise Him throughout my day, throughout my week, when good things happen? Do am I doing that on a regular basis? And as I was reflecting on my life, I was like, I don't do it nearly as much as I should. Now, one of the things I love to talk to my girls about, and this is something that my parents have instructed us and my brothers and I growing up, but that blessings come from God. All the blessings come from God. And we need to give him praise and thank him for who he is and how unworthy we are of God's grace, love, and forgiveness. But as I was thinking about it, I'm like, I don't sit and reflect on all the good things that God has given me whether they're small or big, I don't. Now, again, the big things, I'm like, yes, praise God. But even the small little things, am I thanking God and praising him for those small little blessings? So today I want to encourage you, just sit back in your life. Just take time to reflect. Don't use your smartphone. Just sit and relax and just say, God, I want to thank you and I want to praise you. And then highlight some of the things that God has done in your life. Praise him. Give him honor. How majestic is his name. We're praising him for who he is and the blessings that he's given us. So today, that's your challenge. Thank God. Praise him and spend time just reflecting on what God has done 
Again, thank him and praise him. If you got questions, if you got thoughts on this, I would love to talk to you a little bit more. You can put it in the comment section below, or you can also uh, email me, Tom P at newlife.church. Also, I want to encourage you, read through the Bible every single day and get God's truth, God's wisdom. Again, go to newlife.church slash Bible 2024 or newlife.church slash Bible. Let's pray. Dear Lord, how majestic is your name. We praise you. We honor you. We are so blessed to be in your company. We are so blessed to be around you. And Lord, I just thank you for all that you've done, all that you've shown us, all you've, you've given us. But Lord, I just praise you for who you are. We don't deserve anything. We don't deserve your grace. We don't deserve your forgiveness. We don't deserve your mercy, but you have given it to us. So Lord, we praise you. We thank you. And we ask for your wisdom and guidance in everything we do from this day forward. It's in your name we pray. Amen. Thanks so much for being with me, everyone, today. I pray that you have a blessed rest of your day.